Hey there, this is Jason from San Francisco representing Team GX24. I'm gonna take you to a quick little 15 minute high intensity interval training hit workout. All right, so what we got ahead of us are five exercises. We're gonna do each one for 30 seconds a piece with 10 seconds of rest in between. All right, three rounds, and maybe at the end we might do a little core challenge, see if you got anything left in you, all right? So all you need for this workout is your body, you need water, and you need your towel, and that's it. All right, so I have my Tabata trainer that's gonna help us get through the timing so that way we don't miss a beat. Otherwise, uh, we're just about good to go, all right? So shake it out. Again, this is a great workout if you're uh, looking for something to do short, quick, and you don't got a lot of time on your hands, all right? Three. Here we go, first exercise. We got the three-step run, three-step run. So three little runs and a quick single leg drop squat. Now, if the run's too much for you, that's okay. Just jump or tap side to side, but keep it low, keep it loaded with your chest up. Lots of options. So your choice, your workout, your results, your what? I don't know about you, but I'm already sweating. All right, first break, 10 seconds. Catch your breath and get ready to jump right in the next one. Second set, we've got skater jumps. All right, so again, we wanna keep the chest up. We move side to side, and if you don't wanna jump, you just keep it low and sit nice and wide, all right? Either way. But if you're ready for some more, maybe you reach. Reach towards the floor and get a little more distance in your leap. Oh yeah, definitely sweating already. Rest. Already sweating for sure. All right, third exercise on deck. We've got burpees, all right? So let's break it down. We squat, we plank, we squat, and we stand. Squat, plank, squat, stand. All right, now, once you got the rhythm, just add your speed. If you need to take out the jump, just stay with a triple stand. That's perfectly fine. If you want more, you can even add a little tuck jump for something a little extra. Yes. Break. 10 seconds off. What do we got next? High knee run or a speed run? You got two options. Option one, high knees. You're gonna pump them out as fast as you can, about to hip height. Other option, if you wanna take out some of the intensity, is go to a floor run, all right? So on your toes, pumping your arms, or you're lifting your knees, and you're leaning back. Whew. It's only round one. Feeling good. And we got another break. This one needs some water. All right. Last exercise of round one. Down on the ground, you've got mountain climbers, knees to elbows. Again, if you can't stay in your plank the whole time, that's okay. Just go to your hands and knees and bring one knee to one elbow as fast as you can, keeping your body weight slightly forward and weight in your palms. Yes. Abs stay braced. Crank up the last little bit, seconds left. Seconds left. You did it. That's one. Two to come. Two to come. Back to square one. Three step run. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Again, sitting low. This time I'm going all out. What about you? What about you? You versus you, right? Can you go a little faster? Can you sit a little lower? 15 seconds. I will tell you, next time I might roll up this carpet, because that adds an extra layer of intensity. Breathe. Sweats dropping, dropping, but feeling great. Back to the skaters, side to side. So almost imagine, like you're skiing down a mountain, right? You go inside to side, 
And again, if you want that extra added impact, reach. But really keep your chest up. Push your knee out as you move side to side. Yes. Amazing. Great. 10 seconds. Back to those burpees. Again, whatever you need. You've got the triple pulse squat for an option, or you've got your regular burpee. Let's go. Now again, think about your progression. If you're here, can you do one or two regular burpees? If you're already at the burpees, can you jump? Can you jump? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. One more, one more. Doing amazing. What's next? What's next? Honey runs? Quick feet? What have you got? What have you got? Oh, I bet my neighbors love me right now. That's okay. Again, lift the chest, pump your arms. Whatever you're doing, whether it's here or up, make sure you're going for speed. Make sure you're going for speed. Because we're gonna max out that heart rate and get the most out of our 15 minutes. That's what we're aiming for. Get the most. Breathe. My philosophy, less is more. You're already almost done with round two. What's next? Mountain climbers on the floor. 30 seconds. How long can you hold on? How long can you hold on? Bring your elbows in. Eye slightly forward on whatever floor you got in front of you. Hey, if you got family in the building, make them join you. Anyone can do this. Again, you got your options. You've got your levels. If you need to, just hold a plank. That's perfectly fine. But keep moving, keep doing something. One more round. One more round and one little bitty challenge. I think we got this. Three step run, three step run. I don't know about you, but I am so grateful and thankful that I'm able to work out at home. Not the same as being at the club, but we're gonna make it work until further notice. So we're good. Guess what? Less than 15 seconds. Less than. Four exercises left. Can you hold on? Can you hold on? Can you work faster and harder? Skate. Push that knee out. Don't forget to breathe. I almost grabbed there. It's okay. That's okay. Pick it up. If you swing your arms, that's gonna help you get some propulsion and get some extra, a little bit out of that exercise. And that's what we're looking for. Reach for it. Reach for it. What's down on the floor? Is that a quarter? No. Just some results. Whew. Three more. Three more. Burpees or your triple pull squat. Ready? Go. Why not go for it? You're already almost at the end. Over halfway to the end. Home stretch. Home stretch. You're doing it. You're doing it. Less than 10. Less than 10. Two more. Two more. Come on. I'm in there with you. Believe me, I'm feeling it. High knee or fast feet? Can you pump up the speed? Come on. Whew. Get your knees up. Come on. A little faster on the feet. 15 seconds. Whew, it burns. Whew. Yes. Are we good? You look good. Feel good? 
That's all that matters. One more. One more in the hip circuit, and then we move to your core challenge. Down on the floor. Mountain climbers. Mountain climbers. So you've got 15 seconds left. What you're gonna quickly do in 10, nine, eight, seven, is you're gonna jump down to the ground and we've got a plank to hold for 60 seconds. Ready? On your mark, get set, go. So knees or toes, 60 seconds on the clock and you're done. So shift your weight slightly forward. If you're on your knees, your back stays flat. You anchor your forearms into the floor and you just hold by drawing your belly in. Squeeze your butt. Come on, we want flat backs. We want strong tabletops. I just had to move my dining room table out of the way to make room for this workout. I just became a table. I like it. 30 seconds and you are done. Come on, hang in there. Can you keep your eyes on your thumbs? Keep your eye gaze right in front of the floor. 20 seconds, getting shaky. 15, how are you gonna finish? How are you gonna finish? I like you started. 10 seconds here. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, five seconds. <sighs> Squeeze the forearms down. Three, two, and one. Amazing job. So that was your 15 minute ish high intensity interval training workout. If you did it right, you're breathing heavy and you sweat. All right? Hope you enjoyed your workout and we'll see you at 24 Go. Bye, guys.